Project Infinity X Custom ROM version 3.3 .3 just came out and I decided to install it on the phone since I had version 3.2 .2 going on and since I just came out of a GSI the next step to do will be to flash a custom recovery. Now to do that, obviously you need to have your FBE version two custom recovery. And since I'm using Orange Fox and I keep mine in my non MIUI based folder. So what you're going to write is fast boot uh, devices to check your fast boot devices. Now to do this, make sure you have your phone uh, and your bootloader mode, fast boot mode by pressing your power off button, your power button and your low key button to get to fastboot devices. Now to flash, you type in fastboot flash recovery, make sure there's space and then you can copy and paste your recovery there, hit enter and then you've written your recovery in. So the next thing to do now is to type in the words fastboot reboot once that has been done. Now, since I'm having my project uh, Infinity X version 3.3 .3 available, the next thing I'm going to do after booting into the recovery is to put the file into my flash drive. Now, the reason I'm putting this into flash drive is because there are some times whereby you boot into recovery and you might get some encrypted errors and all of that. And then I'll talk to you about what you have to do or what I like to do in my own case when I see things like that. So the next thing after getting my Orange Fox situation going on set, you know, that's it right there. Next thing now is to put the file in my flash drive, which I have going on here on the screen. Then after that, we'll move back on to Orange Fox since we don't need our PC anymore. Now, moving on to Orange Fox, my file is on the flash drive and here you can see the encrypted files. Now, what I like to do normally is move to format data and type in the words YES just to format. Now, after formatting, then I'll move on to reboot, click on reboot and then reboot recovery. But in this case, uh, let me just go through the usual steps and see what's going to happen. So type in Dalvi cache and data and swipe to wipe. And once that is done, you make sure that you move to uh, where you have your things. Okay. Normally you tap on SD card there and click on OTG, but since mine is not showing, I'm going to move on to mount and then select the USB storage so that I can get my things going on. Oh, I can't tap on top of the internal storage. It's all good. So I have my project Infinity 3.3 .3 over there and then I swipe to flash. So I'm going to speed things up right now so the flashing can get done very, very quickly. Our flash is done. The next thing to do now is to go back and format data. Now, remember, we are formatting data now because we did not format data before, which, like I said, is what I usually do. Now, the reason I it's failed is because I did not format initially. So I'm going to reboot. Now, I'm not expecting to move on to the boot screen for Project Infinity immediately because there's tendencies that I might come back to Orange Fox because like I said, I did not format the decrypted data or like it shows here, Orange Fox is back already. So what I'm going to do now is that Orange Fox is going to let me know that I could not boot into the custom ROM due to some issues. So I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to format. Now you type in YES and then you click on the Mac form. And then if you look up there, you see that they will suggest some of the things that you have to do and formatting is one of them. So our phone. Or boot up oh there it is now project infinity that's the boot up screen so there you have it that's just all you have to do i remember if you have the stuff that way make sure you format first of all reboot into uh, recovery do your usual things and then you are good to go so this is a quick setup any momentum now we should have on to our main screen now there is a bug I noticed with this ROM, which I mentioned in one of my shorts, being that um, the sound bug, yeah, precisely, sound bug precisely, and that is when you are connected to Bluetooth, listening to your ringtone is going to be quite hard. And also the voice rendering recorded is terrible. Also, I hope they fix it in the next update. Now, this is a new Dolby thingy. I think it's from Lenovo. 
I think so. But anyways, so let me show you the version update so you see what I'm talking about. Version 3.3. There you go. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.